how to write patient teaching plans for peak flow meter. Well, first of all, you want to obtain the peak expiratory flow meter. Uh, it measures how much air you can actually bring into your, air, into your lungs and forcefully exhale at one time. Uh, the way that you would be uh, showed this is that your doctor would be the one to show you how to use this, and he would show you where and how to chart with your name and the date, the initial baseline, and uh, it's also based on your uh, gender and how tall you are and how old you are. Uh, the, you would clear the mouth. If you were going to use your peak flow meter, you would clear your mouth, make sure there's nothing in your mouth, and you would exhale all the air out as possibly as much as you could without using the peak flow meter. And then you would inhale deeply as much air as you can bring into your, air, to your lungs and you blow it all out through the uh, mouthpiece, which is a little white thing on the end here. And you would forcefully exhale all of the air in your lungs. You would chart this reading. This would be your initial baseline. This would be a, a, the baseline where you're not having any uh, asthma symptoms, but it would be a day of normality to you. Uh, then you would do this two more times. You're not taking a reading of an average, but you are recording the highest number that you can get, and you're just trying to get the very best of your personal best. You would record this, and then you would assess yourself according to the guidelines that's been established by your doctor. You might notice that there's a red and a yellow and a green uh, lines or little uh, monitors on here. And the green is normal, which is really good to be able to ID it with a stoplight. If you have green, it means you're normal, it's go. If it's yellow, it means caution. There, you might need medications. You would have to look to see what your doctor ordered for you when it's in the yellow zone. And in the red zone, you would be calling the emergency room or you'd be going on your way to the emergency room or calling 911 because you're in the red zone, which means that you are in danger. I hope this has helped you in how to write patient teaching plans for your peak flow meter.